Hello everyone, I'm Adrian Chiok and uh, I'm here with Senator Fraser Anning. We're in the USA and uh, today is the first uh, podcast of a new series podcast with, with Senator Fraser Anning and uh, we're going to talk about the, uh, for the first uh, podcast, we're going to talk about the, the recent American election uh, and Senator Fraser Anning's views on that. So, um, Senator Anning, uh, what, what are your thoughts about what happened uh, in the election recently? Well, I think, um, you know, not unlike the uh, Australian election uh, in 2019, there's been massive rorting and um, it, uh, it's now being proven uh, in different states the amount of uh, vote rorting and, um, you know, hopefully uh, Trump and the uh, legal teams will expose their system for what it is. Um, it, it's better than the Australian system, but it's still very open to, uh, to fraud. And so hopefully they'll, uh, they'll sort that out. No one in their right mind would vote for a, a, a moronic <laughs> like uh, Biden. Uh, but apparently, you know, 70 or 80 million people did more than uh, voted for uh, Obama, you know, who was a complete dead loss, but this guy's even worse. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so Trump claims that the uh, you know, election was a fraud, and so, uh, so how do you think they, the, how do you think the fraud was carried out? <clears throat> with with their, uh, their, um, their computer system for one, uh, plus ballots being thrown, literally hundreds and hundreds of thousands of ballots being thrown, thrown in bins that have, people have found. But um, uh, the Dominion system, I think it's Domin- Dominion, uh, was used with um, Chavez in uh, Venezuela. The socialists will stoop, they, they, there is nothing that they will not stoop to to, to per- pervert an election, to steal your vote. Uh, and what most Americans, are, the unfortunate poor buggers who, who believe that socialism is the way to go, who listen to people like Bernie Sanders and stuff, um, they don't realise that, uh, you know, everything's going to be free, but it's only free until there's none left. And, um, you know, that's what they're going to get. If, if they get Biden, uh, they, they, they're looking down the barrel of a gun. They, they really are. Uh, I can tell you now, there's no one in Venezuela. In 2012, there were plenty of people who would vote, uh, you know, liberal or Democrat, socialist. I can guarantee there's no one there who would vote that way again. Yeah. But it's too late. Yeah. So once you've had your vote, you know, you can vote your way into socialism, but you have to shoot your way out. Mm-hmm. And of course, the socialists know that, so they take your guns away. Mm-hmm. So um, I think it's uh, it'll be the greatest disaster in, in the history of man if they take the only free country on the planet and turn it into a socialist country. Uh, so uh, uh, what what do you what do you think uh, is wrong with Biden? Uh, <coughs> I can't think of too many things that are right. Mm-hmm. After 47 or 48 years in, in government, he has absolutely, he's done nothing. Yeah. Um, he's, I'm sure he's got the early onset dementia because he forgets everything, yeah. including his own name and his wife's name and all sorts of things. I think he's, he's a creep because he, he plays, he, he does things that shouldn't be done. So what has he ever done? Uh, all he's told us, he, he guarantees that he's going to take our guns away. And, um, you know, one of the only reasons uh, America is great is because the individual uh, is allowed to protect themselves and mainly against their own government. So, yeah. Uh, and uh, you mentioned about civil war. What, how, do you, how, how do you think that would uh, play out? Well, look... There's already skirmishes. Mm-hmm. There's already standoffs and skirmishes now. Yeah. I mean, the skirmishes are when when uh, the the Antifa and Black Lives Matter and all these other fringe groups that are being funded mostly by yeah. by Soros yes. and other and other elites, um, they're attacking people. Yeah. So they're they're skirmishes. You know, I mean, every war starts with skirmishes yeah. on, on border skirmishes yeah. or wherever they happen yeah. to be. Yes. Um, I can tell you now that the, I know which side I want to be on. Yes. The Republicans are very well armed. Yes. Um, you know, most states in this country, those, those licensed hunters, men and women, yes. have firearms. They know how to use them. They know how to track animals in the yes. bush. 
they are the ideal guerrilla fighters. Yes. You've got to remember that when the Americans uh, took this country from the British, you yes. know, they, they got out from under the British rule, yes. it was the Minutemen who, who did it. And they were, they were just guys with muskets. Yes. And they, uh, they, they'd they be out in front of their cabin in one minute, yes. ready to fight. Yes. And they were the first guerrilla fighters the history has seen. Yes. And they beat the British. Yes. The, the British who were in... Uh, had never been defeated. Yeah. They got, they were beaten by, um, you know, country guys. Now, uh, you know, we we have all those same people now, except you know, two hundred years later or whatever, yeah. and they have their rifles, they're hunters, and they know how to use them. Yeah. So, um, if the Democrats, the loony left, yeah. who hate guns and who hate everything that you know America ever stands for. Yeah. Uh, Put on a put on a turn. I, I I know which side I'd rather be on. Uh, oh, you seem to um, have a positive feeling about the gu- guns that are available in America. So why why do you feel like that? Um, the the America's arm. Yeah, they, 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 their guns are freely available in most parts of America. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. uh, the Second Amendment says that we have the right. Uh, the Americans have the right to bear arms. Yes. Uh, the reason uh, Hirohito, he was asked this question, why yeah. didn't you invade America in the yeah. Second World War? Yes. His answer was, because there's a gun behind every bush. Yeah. <laughs> now, in history, no country, no armed nation has ever been taken over yes. by, a, by an enemy, a foreign enemy, yes. because the civilians are armed. Yes. Uh, Afghanistan's a, a great example. The yeah. Russians were in there. Everyone's yeah. been into Afghanistan. Yeah. They couldn't do anything. The civilians are armed. Yes. And America, because they not only are they armed, but they're heavily armed. Yes. Uh, most Americans who are armed have at least two or three weapons per person. Yes. Um, how how is anyone going to take that country over? Yes. Short of nuclear warfare, you know. Yeah. Uh, and and of course, if that happened, then the Americans are supremely equipped to be able to handle it. Yes. So, uh, yes. So, no, I, I, I admire the Second Amendment. I admire the Founding Fathers who believed it was we the people, not we the government. Yes. They wrote the best constitution in the history of the world. Yes. Now, Thomas Paine was one of the one of the authors and, and some of the other um, great men who did it. Yes. But it, it, they knew that all government will increase in power yes. and eventually take over. Yes. And that's what they were worried about. Yes. And so they made it very, very clear that it was a people who were in power, not the government who was in power, and I think that was a, a great thing, and that's why they went in, in under 200 years from yes. being a, a colony yeah. to being the greatest power on earth. Yeah. So welcome to part two of the podcast. Uh, so Senator, um, can you tell us your views about the mail-in ballots? Uh, Trump says that most of those mail-in ballots are fraudulent, so what's your view about the mail-in ballots? Well... You know the uh, the Democrats from way back were pushing for mail-in ballots, ballots because they knew they could uh, they they could uh, defraud the the voting system, and I- exactly what they did. The mail-in ballots were a joke. Um, you know, look, I I really believe that uh, in Australia and America we should be able to swipe a a card, an ID card. It it says who you are. Um, you can only vote once and you cast your vote right there. In Switzerland, they have a system like that. They have a, a citizens-initiated referendum. And so if, there, if there's something that's important to the citizens, not important to the government, then they, they can uh, have a vote. Look, do you want this or do you want that? Don't you? Yes or no? You swipe your card, you press yes, you press no, and that's it. If you try to do it again, it just won't take, won't accept the thing. Mail-in ballots are, are, are hopeless. The same as the Australian ballot system where we have a pencil and a piece of paper and we put a mark on it. When it comes to the counting, if you if you don't like the candidate and you're the person counting, you know where those votes are going to go. Mm-hmm. And that's exactly what happened in the 2019 election that yeah. you were part of mm-hmm. and I was part of yeah. in Australia. And uh, we've seen the exact same thing happen here. We have to clean up the voting system. You'll never... But, of course, the big parties, the, the, the parties in power, they hate changing it because mm-hmm. they know they can control people. So yeah. uh, mail-in ballots are a disaster. And uh, how... Because some, some people are saying, why would the mail-in ballots favour the Democrats? So what, what's your view about that? Uh, Democrats cheat. Mm-hmm. Um, socialists have no compunction in cheating. Mm-hmm. Um, everyone will cheat every now and then, I guess, but you'd, you'd hope that... Uh, 
I think the conservative people are much more uh, you know, down to earth and genuine and honest. Usually they're the working type people who don't don't do those sort of things. You know, the the Democrats have no, the socialists have no uh, moral uh, moral compass. I don't think. You know, unfortunately, and I know it's a generalisation, but that's what we've seen all over the world. You know, there, there are over 100 million people dead now because they voted that way. Yeah. Mao Zedong killed over 50 million and Stalin killed over 50 million, Pol Pot and all these people. Um, this is what these people are voting for, you know, and, and they think the utopia is going to be free everything and, and we're all going to be happy, we, you know, we're all equal. We'll take all the wealth from the wealthy and give it to the poor and everyone will be equal, but they'll be equally miserable. Yeah. What would the history tells us they're equal? And unfortunately, these people who vote that way have never read history. Mm -hmm. All they need is to read some books and find out where they're going to be in, in 10 years' time. But uh, anyway, yeah, I think, I think uh, you know, I, I'd, I'd like to see our voting systems in our, our countries, like Australia and, and uh, America, cleaned up. I, I think it's too late for Australia now. Mm. Uh, I think we've, we've sort of past the point of no return as far as socialism goes. Just to change the topic a little bit, do you think uh, voter fraud happened in the 2019 election with uh, your party and, oh, no. your, and your Senate? <coughs> yeah, I, I, I know it did, but um, I couldn't say at that time because the first thing people say, oh, well, you know, he, he didn't take the umpire's decision. Mm. But we have anecdotal evidence uh, from all over, from every polling booth nearly, yeah. Um, for instance, the 30 people who ran for me in Queensland, yeah. who, who are mainly unheard of, mm -hmm. doubled my vote. Mm, yeah. um, there was one, <laughs> one of my candidates in Western Australia mm -hmm. who was very, very well known. Mm -hmm. We had a, a lot of support in, in that area in yeah. Western Australia. Yes. Uh, he had an extended family of, of many, many dozens of people. Mm -hmm. He didn't even get one vote. Oh my goodness. Not even one. <laughs> he didn't even get his own vote. Right, right. I mean, you know, it was so blatantly obvious that our votes were being thrown in the trash. Uh, we had uh, people who were scrutineers and none of them were trained because we only had a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the scrutineers said that they put all the Senate ballots on one end of the table. They kept stacking them up, stacking them up. And they were, they were uh, you know, scrutineering their lower house votes. When it came six o'clock, they said, oh, we're closing. And, and so she said, well, what about the Senate votes? Says, we'll count them later. Mm -hmm. Well, so what's the point of having scrutineers in there? Yeah. So, you know, yes, we were, we were defrauded that time. And, um, you know, that's history. And, and, and until we get rid of the bureaucrats and the AEC uh, and we drain the swamp. I mean, the, the bureaucrats are probably 70% of the problem. Yeah. Uh, the grubs in Parliament that I met, and, and I met some good people, but a lot of them were very uh, ordinary. Yeah. Uh, who, are, who, once they get the job, they want to keep the job, and they forget about what the the public want. Yes. Um, until we can do what Trump's doing is drain the swamp, mm -hmm. get rid of those bureaucrats, yes. and get rid of career politicians. Yes. Uh, we're going to have the same problem. Uh, so, uh, if if you were Trump uh, now, because he it seems to be more every day seems to be more and more difficult, you know, for him to uh, overcome uh, his legal challenges that really work. If you were Trump, what 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 do you think you would do? <coughs> I'd get with the um, the the uh, military uh, chiefs of all the different branches of the military. Mm -hmm. I'd find out if they're on side with me, yeah. and, and you would hope, unless they're bureaucrats as well, and we do have a few of them in the military who are bureaucrats, the general population of the military and say, um, you know, we're going to have a problem, this is what I'm going to do, mm -hmm. I'm going to call the election a fraud, yes. I will stay in office, and I will change the voting system so that we know that every vote is going to be authenticated. Mm -hmm. So if you cast a vote, Bill Smith from here, yeah. we need to know it. And we'll do it again. Yes. You know, it, it, it's going to be a problem, but then it's going to avoid a huge problem. If yes. we have socialism in this country, this country is finished. Yes. Um, but first, I'd make sure I had the support of the military. And I, mm -hmm. and I can tell you now, I really believe the average American military person, Navy, Air Force and Army, are very conservative. Mm -hmm. They're fighting for their country. They're yes. patriots. Yes. Trump is a, an absolute patriot. Yeah. Uh, the Democrats are exactly the opposite. Mm -hmm. A lot of them hate America. Yeah. 
I mean, they're, they're happy. They won't wave the flag. They'll take a knee and all this, like these, this trash on the on the football field. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd deport them. Yeah. You know, so you know, where, where's your homeland? Uh, it's not America. You obviously hate America. I'll get yeah. you out of here. Yeah. But I would definitely, definitely make sure the military was on my side, and I'm certain that the the rank and file military. I'm yeah. not saying maybe the hierarchy. There, yeah. there may be a little bit of uh, left wing in them. Yeah. Because they infiltrate everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Get the get the rank and file on your side. Say, okay, I'm calling this election a fraud. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll have another election. We'll authenticate votes, and we'll see who wins. Mm -hmm. uh, if the worst comes to worst, and uh, uh, you know he's forced to leave office, what would you advise Trump to do? Well, on I, January twentieth. Yeah, I I hope that it never comes to that. But if it does, then. Um, trying to recontest an election in four years is not going to work. No. Uh, you know, we, we've seen what happens with the uh, with socialism. They, uh, you know, he, he'll be. They will persecute him then. If, if he steps aside. Yeah. They've already done. They've already had a, a, a Russia probe. Yes. Complete rubbish. Yes. They've had an impeach, impeachment. Complete rubbish. Yes. The criminals are the Clintons, um, Pelosi, Obama. Schumer, Obama. Yeah. These are the criminals in our, in our parliament, but yeah. they have a huge amount of control. Yes. Because they control the bureaucracy, they yes. control the media, yes. they're being funded by Soros and, and, yeah. and billionaires. Yes. So, you know, Trump has a huge battle and he's been fighting a great battle. Yeah. So, you know, uh, you know, we all pray for him uh, to, to be able to survive. And I mean, yeah. lesser men would have, would have been out of there in no time. Yeah. Um, so, you know, hopefully we, we can... Uh, get some sense into the place if it, if, if this Biden fool gets in mm -hmm. with, with Harris probably the one of the lowest of the low mm -hmm. um, you know we're in for a, a, a miserable four years and I don't believe you know I think it'd be a very hard job for him to get back in yes. once they, they've got complete control because yes. the, they, they control the voting system again which yes. they've obviously done this time uh, going back to the primary of the Democratic Party and uh, Bernie Sanders was winning at the start, uh, but then uh, suddenly Joe Biden, uh, you know, was taking all the votes. Uh, mm. So do you think some somehow uh, uh, Joe Biden is somehow part of the uh, this uh, uh, you know political elite, and uh, in fact, in in some way maybe Bernie Sanders, is a, you know, is 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 not part of that elite. So do you think somehow even in the primaries the uh, uh, you know the the uh, political elite were were trying to put their man in, and they didn't want Sanders either. They didn't want Trump. They didn't sure. want Sanders either. They didn't want Sanders because Sanders had his own opinions, yeah. where Biden's completely controllable. I think Biden is just a, a placeholder mm -hmm. right now. Uh, you know, I mean, he's completely controllable. Uh, <coughs> he's happy to go along with it, you know, because he's going to get the name president yeah. until one or two things happen. He, he you know, has a uh, mental breakdown, or he's shot in the head, yeah. or you know, yeah. and then they put the person they want. Yeah. But right now he's a placeholder. So, yeah, uh, yeah he was a uh, the other Sanders was a bit of a threat because you know he, you know even though he's a complete communist, yeah. Yeah. he had his communist agenda. Yes. Um, and Soros and these other people didn't have as much control of Sanders, Sanders as yeah. they do of Biden. Yes, Biden's, yes. Are, Biden's are at best a puppet. Yes. yes. And, uh, Basically, a, yeah. Yeah. Political elite, yeah. Um, and uh, lastly, uh, thank you very much. Uh, would you consider ever going back, running as again in Australia, either, either in Queensland or federal election? Um, unless there was a revolution, I'd happily be in the front line shooting <laughs> yeah. left wing bastards. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, like those politicians, like your media personalities, yes. you know, the people who run the media yes. who are all absolutely left wing. Yes. Uh, you know, they're our, they're, our, they're our enemies, you know, they may live next door to us, yes. uh, but if that's the way they vote, and that's yes. what they're your deadly enemy. Yes. They're going to put you into servitude, yes. so why wouldn't you want to shoot the bastards? Yes, you know? so yes. That's the only way to go back. Well, thank you. Well, thank you very much, Senator Sanding, and uh, this yeah. is the our, uh, first of a series of podcasts with uh, Senator Sanding. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Adrian.